Hi everyone, today I have a Barbie Signature Lux Ken doll. I've been trying to get one of these for ages. I got him from Amazon. He was around £26. He's number four. I've ordered this one because she was available to order, but she's not due until January. And I would also like this one, number two, but she's not, uh, she's out of stock at the moment. The other three I'm not, not too worried about. But yeah, she was around £26 too. So let's get him out and have a look at him. He's very muscly and I love his hair. He's got like braided hair. Let's get him out and have a look. So, we we do every time i try and get one on amazon and that's the only place i've seen them here in the uk they're out of stock and if they are in stock and you order it it takes ages to come so he comes with his stand there's nothing on the stand it's just a plain black base and his waist clip is bigger because he's male but look at this look how loose it is <laughs> i don't think that'll matter once he's on it but yeah it's very loose his stand is he comes with his certificate of authenticity and let's have a look at him let's get him undressed his top is not there's no opening for it it's stitched all the way around and it's like a string vest that's all i can describe it as a, a string vest and it's actually stuck to him with like double-sided tape you can see the double-sided tape there look quite why they needed to do that i'm, I'm unsure but anyway, they did. So we'll get him undressed so we can have a good look at him. Yeah, there's his top. It is, it's like a, a t-shirt shape, but it is like a mesh, a white mesh. It's okay, it suits him. I, I, that's okay, I'm okay with that. Um, he's very muscular, I like that. He's great, isn't he? I'm going to call him Harvey, I think. I just like the name Harvey. He's got like plaits. I think there's a special name for it, but he's got a top knot and it's like plaited braided hair there. And the sides and the back underneath is fuzzy. It feels velvety, so soft. You can see he's got articulation. You can twist his arm like that. You can bend him at the elbow his wrist will twist and bend his hands feel rubbery they're not plastic he has some movement in the torso not side to side but up and down his head is the I think it's a typical Ken he can move it a bit side to side and down and up he's certainly a, a grand specimen of a Ken isn't he love him and then we'll see whether he's got his undercrackers on. Yeah, he has got his undercrackers on. So we can take his trousers off and have a look. So his feet, to me, seem bigger than an average Ken's feet. For some reason, he's got cardboard on one knee and not on the other. And all these dolls seem to have this on their legs. I got this with the BMR 1959 dolls as well, which I think, you know, I don't know. It must be where they're on the mould or something and their legs are like shiny here and then they go dull. Can you see? Anyway, his leg articulation, he's got the thigh twist. The hips will go forward and back and in and out, not fully out, but a little bit. He's got the double bended knee and he's got the ankle twist and up and down movement. But I do think his feet are bigger than an average Ken's feet. I'm gonna get an average Ken and we'll try. Okay, so what I have is a made to is a, a Ken fashionista on a made to move Ken body. And I'm just actually looking at them, I don't think they are any bigger. Let's see. And in fact, this Ken, this um, made to move Ken is muscular as well, look, and has the same articulation. Yeah, they seem to be. I don't know whether he was a BMR 1959 Ken. I can't remember what his body was. Anyway, his feet are the same size as an average Ken. That's what we were trying to establish, wasn't it? So here are his trousers and they're like that. They're like a cottony material, but they're that shiny cotton material. 
yeah i'm not a fan of that but anyway it's got the barbie logo inside it there um yeah so i'm pleased to have him to add to my collection but i will have to find him some different trousers i think either make him some denim ones or yeah find him some different they're like them you know them cheapy ones you get from china that's what they feel like shiny yeah they'll do him for now because they're keeping him decent but aren't they kenneth or harvey as i'm going to call you yeah so that was my first barbie looks doll like i say i'm hoping to get a couple more but uh, it's just them coming into stock and how long they're going to take to come and oh dear what a palaver and uh, when I went to get my fashion Easter from the shelf to try him I had a fashion Easter avalanche so it's took me 20 minutes to uh, get the girls and boys all back in position mm. I forgot how often I have a fashion Easter avalanche I've got them um, positioned in such a way that if anyone you know coughs near them they have a we have a doll avalanche a doll avalanche yeah uh, never mind never mind keeps me uh, keeps me on my toes doesn't it yeah so that's the barbie looks i mean it, i like his outfit i like that it's all white and it suits him i just wish they'd used a bit better material for the trousers that's all yeah i just think they could have done a bit better with the trousers it's it is like that you know when you buy ken clothes from amazon and you get a bundle of them the trousers are made of that shiny material i mean there's nothing wrong with it i suppose i'm just not keen on the shininess of it i'm being a twit what am i on about it looks fine doesn't it but yeah i would like him to have like denim trousers rather than the the shiny cotton ones yep so that was my barbie looks number four Kendall, who I am going to name Harvey. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.